Hey, what is up guys? You're watching Epic Pokemon TCG. In today's video, guys, what I got for you, we're going to be taking a look at one of the decks that was played this weekend at the Salt Lake City Regional Tournament. And so obviously the decks that people are going to be covering are going to be the one that won and then, you know, some other top eight decks. Of course, the Suicune Ludicolo deck that performed so well. Uh, but the deck that I heard about on stream that I really wanted to cover was this Arceus Gyarados deck. And then there's another one with Sandaconda. But anyway, uh, this deck was piloted by Nick Robinson, I believe. Hopefully I'm not butchering his name. And so, yeah, I really wanted to see this deck. He posted it, I think, after the event, and I saw it this morning. And so I was like, you know what? We're going to cover this because I want to check this deck out because this is just a really cool idea. So we're going to go ahead and start off by taking a look at Gyarados since we all know what Arceus does. So Gyarados VMAX has the attack Hyper Beam for 120 and you discard an energy from your most active Pokemon, which can, you know can come into play since you know special energies are becoming more and more popular as the game progresses. And then Max Tyrant for 4 energy is going to do 240 damage. So Gyarados by itself obviously is not the best attacker in the world uh, just because of the fact that well the damage output is very meh for the amount of energy that it takes. However, when you pair this Pokemon up with Arceus V-Star or just Arceus V in general with Trinity Charge and Trinity Nova, uh, basically you're going to get some energy acceleration. So uh, Trinity Charge just allows you to attach up to three basic energy from your deck to one of your uh, Pokemon V. Uh, it's very similar to Trinity Nova, which is going to do 200 damage and then you can attach up to three basic energy cards from you know, your deck to one of your Pokemon V, obviously. Uh, but it also has Starbirth, which is really strong here. Basically, you just get to pick any two cards from your deck and add them to your hand. Arceus is such a good card that it basically gets paired up with anything. And so many cards that were overlooked, so many cards that just couldn't function, like Gyarados, uh, immediately just became good. Uh, the cool thing about this is that there's also another strategy you can do. As you can see, we do run one memory capsule, which just allows you to use an attack from one of your Pokemon's previous evolutions. And the cool thing about it, you know, Gyarados does have 330 HP. Like most Pokemon VMAX, it has uh, 300 plus. Uh, so that allows you to actually use Get Angry, which is Gyarados V's first attack, which just allows you to do 20 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Uh, Heavy Storm probably is not going to be an option, but... If your opponent hits your Gyarados VMAX, you can just retaliate with Get Angry and do a considerable amount of damage right back to your opponent's Pokemon, and that's just really cool. Uh, we are also going to be running Dunsparce, uh, just so that way, of course, you know, you don't have weakness, so you don't have to worry about fighting Pokemon. Uh, Zigzagoon, just to help you hit with some key numbers. And then we're going to be running a 4-3-1-1 line of Inteleon. Of course, Shady Dealings on Drizzle allows you to search your deck for a trader card and add it to your hand. And then, of course, uh, the Shady Dealings on Inteleon allows you to get two. It also has Aqua Bullet for 120, and then you, of course, do 20 damage to one of your opponent's bitch Pokemon. Uh, this can definitely be an attacker you can set up and kind of get going. Uh, but also, we have Quick Shooting Inteleon, which will kind of help you with numbers as well, since you can put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. And then Waterfall, you can actually attach a double turbo if you really need to and start attacking with this Pokemon. So, pretty cool all-around deck idea here. So really the strategy here is you're using Arceus as one of your attackers and then you just kind of have Gyarados there hanging out as a secondary attacker that you can kind of, you know, mess around with. Ah, excuse me, I had to scoot up here a little bit. Uh, but now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the supporter line here. So pretty cool, we have two Professor's Research. We have two Melanie, which allow you to attach a water energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon V. And then you can draw three cards. So this is going to help you with some energy acceleration, uh, not only on Gyarados, but just Arceus in general. Uh, we do run a Marty, and then we do run one Sharon's Care, which will allow you to pick up your Arceus if it does get attacked. And then we also have two Boss's Orders, so that way you can drag up Pokemon off the bench and knock it out. Or just stall or whatever you got to do. So that is the supporter line. We do have some other stuff in here to help us search out Pokemon. We do have the one Ultra Ball. You never know when this might come in handy. Uh, we also run four Quick Ball. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go straight to it. We have three Level Ball and then three Evolution Incense. Uh, the Level Ball, of course, will allow you to grab your Sobble and Drizzle. Evolution Incense will grab your Drizzle, Inteleon, Arceus V-Star. And it'll also grab your Gyarados V-Max. We also run Capacious Bucket, which I thought it was Capacious because I'm stupid. This will just allow you to search your deck for up to two water energy and add them to your hand. Pal Pad to get you some supporters back. And then Scoop Up Net so that way you can kind of reuse or get your uh, Drizzle line or your Inteleon line, excuse me, out of the active spot. Uh, we do run a switch because, of course, having a switching card is really nice. Uh, one big charm and then one choice belt to help out with extra numbers. 
three path to the peak uh, so that way of course like once you're done with your star birth you're not going to really have any other abilities so you might as well go ahead and try to shut your opponents down and then we already went over the memory capsule i think that's about everything that we need to go over except for the energy um so yeah we're gonna run four double turbo and then of course we run six water energy so that way of course we have targets for trinity nova uh trinity charge gyarados obvious to, uh, ugh, excuse me obviously takes water energy to attack with and then you know we also have capacious bucket or melanie to help out with the energy so yeah this is the list that he posted it was a picture that i put at the start of the video uh, i thought this deck was really cool and i definitely wanted to cover it for you guys now i do have some gameplays to show you guys unfortunately i didn't get like a better one because my electricity went off and then my freaking internet went off and so like it just kicked back on the storm's still going outside and so i was just like all right we're gonna try to throw this video together real quick get it done and then i'm gonna try to post it so yeah Wish me luck here because I'm about to go into the editing process of this whole thing here once I'm done. So yeah, wish me luck guys. I hope you do enjoy the gameplays and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Alrighty, so yeah, this is going to be the first gameplay here as I sit here hoping my uh, electricity doesn't go off again. Uh, that was that was a pleasant one. So yeah, we're going to be facing off against Dragapult Inteleon. Now, like I said, guys, in the deck profile portion of the video, my electricity uh, flickered and my internet went off and the storm is still raging hard. So we're going to see if we can somehow get through this recording process without my freaking power going out. So yeah, uh, this is a deck that I really enjoyed uh, hearing, you know, was actually played at the tournament and I believe he got 33rd place. Uh, something happened with a disqualification. I'm not a thousand percent sure, you know, about that whole scenario. But I actually opened with a pretty strong hand here. Uh, I was able to, you know, get the whatever the stupid what is it evolution something onto the Gyarados. I already forgot. Jesus. All right. So yeah, I get the turn one Trinity uh, charge here, so that way I'm able to throw some energy onto that Gyarados. And my opponent is sitting there with a Sobble, a Psychic Energy on the Dragapult V. And yeah, I'm looking pretty okay right now. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. I'm coming off one of the best weekends of my entire freaking life. Uh, this past weekend was so much fun. I uh, went and saw Judas Priest in concert finally. It's one of my favorite bands growing up. And then the next day, I went and I met the original White Ranger. And on the following day, which was Sunday, I went and saw the new Jujutsu Kaisen movie, which was pretty solid. So yeah, I'm coming off a fantastic weekend, and then in between those times, I was watching uh, the regional tournament and such, just kind of checking it out. So yeah, I had a pretty pretty solid weekend, man, and I, I go through this week, and then I'm on vacation, so you know, life is looking pretty all right. So my opponent does get the path of the peak down, which is slightly annoying because I was hanging on the mine because I was going to try to star birth on my next turn. Uh, but my opponent does hit me for 130 and is going to throw five damage counters onto my Sobble there. Uh, so now it is kind of crunch time. So I have two evolution instants. I have Capture's Bucket. I have Melanie. Uh, you know, I have I have some options here. So I just go ahead and decide to opt for the Capture's Bucket or Capacious, what, whatever the freaking word is. And so I grab a Water Energy here. I play the evolution instance, and I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I, I think it's time that we bring out big old Gyarados. I, I think it's time that we use Gyarados, and we just hope for the best here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I just grab the Sharon's care. I figured, why not, bro? We're gonna we're, gonna, we're just gonna try to deny my opponent some prizes. Now we're gonna grab the V Max here, throw that fourth energy down onto Gyarados, and then we're gonna evolve. So now things things are looking pretty sweet here with old Gyarados. Pick up that Gar or pick up that RC, excuse me. Deny my opponent some prizes. Slap that bad boy back down. And I have a double turbo in my hand along with a Melanie. And I have the Shady Dealings in Teleon, just in case that Drizzile does survive. And yeah, man, I just decided to hit him with the Hyper Beam, discard the energy. He has three cards in his hand. And I'm like, you know, we're, we're just going to gamble and hope for the best here. But I think, obviously, the big surprise from this past weekend uh, was, I think, the Suicune Ludicolo deck. That was absolutely insane. But man, some of the matches that I saw this past weekend were ridiculously fun to watch, man. And this gameplay is actually coming to a close because I think I put my opponent in a bind. Like I said, guys, the, the gameplay is here kind of skimpy because I, I literally, like, am terrified to start trying to record again. And plus, the deck actually went through regionals this past weekend, so I don't really need to show off too much here because the deck proved itself this past, you know, past weekend. So, 
Yeah, so my opponent is going to go ahead and hit my poor little Drizzle back there trying to take it out the game, which, you know, hey, what a hater. And my opponent just hits me with the Shred, and I pretty much win from this point because I'm going to leave him with no attackers. Opponent does concede, and yeah, we go ahead and take game one, so pretty sweet there. Now we will go ahead and move on to game two. And I believe if I remember this game was kind of a little more back and forth. It was a little more on the competitive side. And then I had one game that was like meh that I didn't record. So yeah, I, I was trying to get like some games for you guys to watch. But unfortunately, your boy, your boy kind of failed in that region. But man, the videos have been doing pretty solid lately. Uh, the subscriber count's going up. So I just have to go ahead and say thank you so much to everyone, uh, especially if you're new. Thank you for stopping by and tuning into the channel. Uh, that means a lot to me. And it's cool that I had like a surprise video that I could throw into the ones I'm planning on uploading. I still have plenty of ideas. And I think another thing that really surprised me this past weekend was just like the hard Mew counter. Like, man, dude, Mew apparently just got mollywhopped this past weekend. And I'm thinking at the next regionals, I imagine some of those Mew players are really looking to get back, you know, and prove that the deck is still very solid. And I, I think that uh, Mew decks might look kind of different in the next, uh, next go around. So I go first here. My hand is not amazing, but it's not bad at the same time. Uh, but I am playing a single strike deck. So obviously this could mean a multitude of things. It could be Gengar. It could be Gengar Arceus. Um, it could be Urshifu. It could be, you know, a box version of it. But my opponent is going to battle VIP pass, and I believe this is where we find out exactly what we're facing. Battle VIP pass is such a strong card, man. Yeah, so we see two single strike Urshifus coming down. It is crazy to see just how far, like, the single strike deck has come since its, like, first initial release, man. Like, some of the stuff that I'm seeing with that is insane. Yeah, I, I'm wondering what you guys think about this past regionals, or if you watched it, because I... I Definitely really enjoyed watching it overall. It was a really fun event. It was cool to see some IRL Pokemon again. It's been way too long. It's got me hyped up. It's got me ready to go. Um, it's got me wanting to play some Pokemon, man. Definitely has me wanting to, you know, start trying to do my thing. So, right here, I just decide, you know, I was like, hey, let's let's Ultra Ball, let's Star Birth, get it out of the way, and then I could play that Path of the Peak down, you know, because once I play Path of the Peak. Unless my opponent replaces it, I'm probably not going to get an opportunity to use Star Birth here. So I'm like, you know what? We're going to use the Star Birth and try to go for the setup. So I think the two cards that I obviously need to grab are Double Turbo and a Professor's Research. That way I can get myself a fresh hand of seven. My opponent only has three cards in their hand. I can lock down any potential Umbreon shenanigans for the future. And there we go. Fresh hand of seven right out the gate. And right here, I think I made a little boo-boo. I, I, I don't know why I didn't maybe pitch that other Sobble and grab Dunsparce there. I think I should have double quick balled there, grabbed the Gyarados and the Dunsparce. So I'm going to just throw my hands up and say that was a misplay on my part. I should have grabbed the Dunsparce like ASAP in this matchup because obviously my opponent just needs to do, what, two single strike roars? Or just one single strike roar and hit me with the like the second attack on just a normal Urshifu V and bye bye Arceus. So I done sparses in there for for situations like that. So yeah, I take the first prize here. My opponent still has a pretty pretty scary board, but they're gonna promote that Hounder. And I'm man, I'm thinking about my vacation. That's. <laughs> That's really what I'm thinking about. And the cool thing is I have some video ideas I can do and just kind of knock out and get out of the way so that way you guys have some content to watch because I'm not going to take like a like a full hiatus week. I'm still going to have content. It's just I need to try to get some of it uh, recorded early and try to get it up and try to just get it uh, you know ready to go because during that week I'm going to be grinding a video game that is coming out and I'm just so excited that I don't have to worry about anything for an entire week i can just take it easy relax and just not give a crap and i think right here i make another boo-boo for some reason i do like i was saying i was frantic trying to play this game uh i believe i played double evolution incense when i probably should have just so right here i think i should have grabbed bosses maybe i don't know 
I don't know. I, I definitely made some questionable plays in this game. I'll have to go back and look at it again. But right there, I grabbed the Dunspar, so I'm like, I need this boy down ASAP here. And I think right here, what I should have done was drizz out for the boss and attach the choice belt. I think that would have been a knockout, right? No? I don't think that would have been a knockout. Maybe not. I don't know. It's been a long day, guys. I've been up since 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I've been up for almost like 12 hours. I didn't sleep good. It, it, it's been a rough one, okay? <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I just I can't thank you guys enough. It, it's absolutely awesome to see channel growth and just see my, my videos starting to do pretty okay. And, like, you guys are absolutely dominating the V Battle Deck videos. Those... Those have been doing so well, and I cannot thank you guys enough for all the amazing support. Uh, this commentary is a thrown together. I'm trying to speed through it. I'm trying to rush it. I'm trying to get get this up for you guys before the storm gets me again. It's trying to prevent the love of Arceus Gyarados. Okay, it's the forbidden love. Uh, but my opponent is going to actually evolve into Umbreon. Thankfully, Path of the Peak was down, so that way. Uh, if they did have a plan to bring up something, they can't do it. But my opponent does get that fresh hand of seven. And I was pretty nervous throughout this game. Uh, just because, like, even though it's like an older type deck, you know, and it's kind of falling off or whatever, I still think Urshifu Umbreon is really strong. I would say falling off, but obviously there's just things out there that are, you know, a little more consistent, probably better. But still, the deck is so strong, and it still has so many good matchups. But we do see the sexy Houndur come or Houndoom, excuse me, come down onto the field. I love the character arts. Uh, Brilliant Stars was such an awesome set, man. I definitely think that's one of my favorite sets that is released in general in Pokemon. I cannot get enough of Brilliant Stars. It is such a fantastic set, and I cannot say enough good things about it. I love opening it. It's like one of my favorite sets to open. Uh, but we do see a single strike roar. So my opponent is setting up that big bad Urshifu back there. My opponent does have an Air Bloom on this Houndoom, so definitely we're going to be seeing a <laughs> we're going to be seeing a big attacker coming. So I think here in a second they actually search out the V Max, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there's the Ultra Ball. So the V Max is coming down. Uh, I have to deal with that now, and thankfully though I have Melanie in my hand. Uh, just in case some crap goes down here. But I believe my opponent just brings up <laughs> the VMAX and just absolutely obliterates Arceus. And so, yeah, I, I was I was feeling pretty okay with the fact that I had Melanie and Gengar VMAX just kind of sitting there. It hits me for 660 damage. Goodness gracious. That's a lot of damage, man. That is a lot of damage. So we're going to bring up Gyarados, draw our card here, and we're, we're looking pretty okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get a fourth energy back on that Gyarados. And right there, I get the memory capsule. So that way I can use my get angry in case my opponent does, you know, hit me back. So th things are looking all right. We get the quick shooting Inteleon. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some extra damage onto that Urshifu VMAX. And I kind of just look at the damage. Got the zigzag going, the headbutt onto that. And... Yeah, we're getting some damage set up here, but my opponent concedes. For some odd reason, my opponent concedes. Uh, I guess they saw the inevitable. I don't know. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it for the video. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And in the likelihood that Nick Robinson does see this video, I hope that is his name. I, I'm going to feel really bad if I'm like remembering the wrong person. I got to give a massive shout out to him for playing Arceus Gyarados at a regionals and doing fairly well with it like that is so awesome dude uh props to you man and this deck was a lot of fun to play uh, but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed i'm gonna be back with some more deck profiles for you soon uh you guys are absolutely sexy take care love you and as always guys this is epic pokemon tcg signing out getting out of here before my internet goes off don't forget to like follow and obey Thank <laughs> you.